Well, I just finished your book, uh, The Food Fix, and uh, what really, really, really uh, stood out to me was the fact that, you know, you took all sort of the fad diets that are out there and put actual truth on uh, the implication of what the actual diets um, really mean and uh, the quality of food that comes into it. Can you, because there's a lot of questions that are, I can see them in the chat rooms talking about vegan versus paleo and of course your version, which is vegan and stuff like that. You know, is there such a thing as the best diet right now? Or is, is there something that's a whole lot more to it than that? Yes, uh, you know, it's very simple. It's very simple. Eat whole food, period. <laughs> Don't eat processed food, period. You have time now, you're at home, you can cook. I mean, I just made lentil dal. It took me 15 minutes. <laughs> I stir fried some onions, ginger, garlic, some jalapeno peppers, threw in some spices, some tomatoes, cooked the lentils, it took 20 minutes, put it all together, and now I've got this incredibly nourishing, you know, vegetarian or vegan dinner tonight. I'm not, I'm not vegan, but I just want to eat nutrient-dense food. So I'm, I'm really focusing on as much nutrient density. So it, the, key, the key message is, you know, paleo, vegan, keto, low carb, low fat, you know, there's, there's so much um, conflict. But the truth is that all those ways of eating have far more in common with each other than they do with the traditional standard American diet, which is 60% ultra processed food which kills 11 million people around the world every year. Every day, 2,300 people die just from heart disease alone that's preventable with food. We should be having a national emergency to address that. Yes, COVID-19 is bad and it's spreading and it's gonna kill a lot of people. But the truth is that we, we really need to focus on what we agree on as opposed to what we disagree on in these diet wars. That's why I jokingly came up with Pegan Diet, which is a spoof on the extremes of paleo and vegan. And so like, yes, probably 80% of our diet should be plant foods, nuts and seeds, lots of vegetables, good quality fruit, you know, good quality fats from nuts and seeds and avocados and things like that. So I think we really want to be smart about it. Grains and beans are great now. A lot of people, have, I went to my local store and everybody completely cleaned out all the beans in the grains, uh, which is fine. Yeah. Right? Great. Um, you know, I think stick to more gluten-free grains because uh, they're, they're less likely to be inflammatory. The, the wheat we eat is a pretty noxious form of wheat in this country, which is more inflammatory. It's more starchy. It contains glyphosate, which destroys your microbiome because they spray weed killer on your weed at harvest to desiccate it, which is extremely dangerous to your microbiome. And it turns out our microbiome is so critical for our immune system. And it also contains uh, calcium propionate, which drives increased uh, damage to the um, short chain fatty acids in your gut that can affect your brain function, mood, hyperactivity. So flour, bread, those things you should not be eating right now. If you want to eat bread, make the breads that, for example, I have in my cookbook, food, what the heck should I cook that are made from seeds and nuts and, and, and different kinds of things than, than just white uh, flour. So I think, uh, I think we really need to be smart about that. And how do we eat a nutrient dense diet? And that's what, you know, I jokingly call the pecan diet, but there's, you know, a set of principles that are there that are pretty common sense, you know, and it, that people would have a hard time disagreeing with. You know, we, we ordered uh, from Vital Choice Seafood, I ordered you know, a case of uh, single packed fish, there's black cod and salmon and cans of wild salmon, cans of mackerel, cans of anchovies, you know, stuff that's really, I love. My wife's not a big anchovy and mackerel fan, but I am. And, and I ordered, uh, you know, from Butcher Box, I ordered a lot of fresh grass fed meats that are really in, relatively inexpensive, direct from the farmers. Uh, I ordered from Thrive Market, a whole host of really delicious nutrient dense snacks and foods. Uh, so I think, I think, you know, by, by people just focusing on, on uh, the time they have now to finally cook and take care of themselves, it's a great moment to not just feel sorry for yourself and binge and eat crap and watch TV, but actually to take this time to really bolster your immune system, to bolster your health, to develop practices that help you thrive. And I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, grateful that I've been able to learn what those are and can share those with people.